Okay, protesting broccoli gets busted. Let's see. This broccoli got busted. A man in a broccoli costume who was part of climate protests in London was apprehended by the Metropolitan Police. What did, what did he do? Did he run away from someone's lunch? From a six-year-old's lunch? What? The group wants to raise awareness of the threat of climate change and seeks net zero carbon emissions by the year 2025. We've Causing them down nice. Climate science, 30 years of climate protests. Um, we're at a point now where the UN... Um, this is an extinction rebellion spokesman. What are they fighting for? Art Broccoli is going instinct? I'm so confused. Dozens were arrested by the That's from 2019. That's not even from 2020. It would have been even more even funnier to be honest. Near Wall Street. The bull, which some see as a symbol of capitalism, was smeared with fake blood. For me, it was important to be here today because I think it's the only thing that we can do in our daily lives to just show up at those events. And I feel responsible, so I'm here to uh, support the the Extinction Rebellion group. Hundreds of. Well, I'm confused. Are these like vegan protests, but like a bit stupid, st like st stupider? If that's a word, because because that's kind of what it seems to me. Are they just like fighting for the existence of all other animals? Because like, bro, let's be honest. Even if they go, like, what do you, what would you prefer? A random fucking animal that's that's literally done nothing uh for like you know the planet to go extinct or would you rather go extinct yourself because humans could, can do a lot more than an, than an average animal can protesters reportedly were arrested in brussels as belgian police sprayed them with water cannons elsewhere in london a protester glued himself to the top of a british airways plane what at the city airport it took several minutes for authorities okay to... i'm confused are we watching like the background like what happened before this guy became a broccoli because i'm like really confused was he like the guy who glued himself onto the plane him. the activist was later identified as james brown a former paralympic cyclist after brown entered a not guilty plea he spoke to reporters i'm not denying what i did but i was compelled to do what i did because of my concerns for the future of my children, we all. Bro, look at this grandma. She doesn't even know why she's there. Bro, she's she's probably like older than my own grandma. No, the catastrophe that awaits them. Other Extinction Rebellion protesters glued themselves to the railings around London's what famed Trafalgar fuck? Square, Tell the truth. traffic in the area. We will not stop until we got what we came here for. And a 77-year-old climate change protesting rabbi was arrested for praying what? in the middle of the road. So I see it as, as my religious and moral duty to stand up for what I believe in, what I care about. Bro, I'm still so confused. Is that like his family? Is like all of these guys they are showing? Is that like his uncle, his grandpa? Are just like showing his background? That's why he decided to become a broccoli. I, I'm so confused right now. What what does that have to do with the broccoli? around the headquarters of the BBC building in London. Several activists climbed onto the side of the building to post banners. The BBC is the nation's largest broadcaster. The protesters want news media to take climate change more seriously. Non-balance civil disobedience has proven itself time and time in history to bring about radical social change. Okay, so did he not say anything about the broccoli arrest? Okay, there should be like an interview. Okay, there it is. Let's let's see. That because you were arrested and you were a piece of broccoli. Yes. Um, uh, do you identify as broccoli? Or? I, I am Mr. Broccoli, yes. Yes, that's right, please. Um, do you have another name or not? No, Mr. Broccoli is... It, that's me, it. Yeah. You don't it. go about your daily business as Bro. a piece of broccoli. I've always been a piece of broccoli. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right. So, what? Wait, so do you have a job? Uh, I just grow. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah, I grow. It's sprouted up everywhere. Yeah. And Mr. Broccoli, what, what is your aim? What do you want to achieve with all this? What? Well, I'd really like to see uh, <laughs> see a transition to a plant-based food system. I think that's that's vitally important. Louis, I'm confused. Does he want to be eaten? 
Hamilton, the Formula what is, One racing. Why did you dress as a broccoli though? Why do you identify as a broccoli? I mean, like you do, you man. I don't blame you. Drive it. Um, but like, well, yesterday, what? Um, very powerful interview or comments he's given on social media, saying he's reaching the end of his tether about this. Friends of his won't listen to him. He feels the world is in serious trouble, and that the only way to save it is that we all go to where you want to go, which is a plant-based thing. Um, so you've got some powerful friends um, in people like Lewis Hamilton. I mean, how are you? Lewis Hamilton, what? Wait, you mean like the 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 fucking racer? Ain't no way he's got Lewis Hamilton, bro. What? You're gonna persuade people like me who want a balanced diet of fruit, veg, meat, like we've always done, and think that that's perfectly okay. Uh, a plant-based diet can be a balanced diet, PC. It, it, it really can. It can't. Where where are you gonna get your protein from? From a potato? I've eaten a lot of potatoes. I've never heard of. It. I mean, okay, okay, okay. They do have protein, but you gotta eat like a lot of potatoes to get um, enough protein. And if, if you if you like the taste and texture of meat, there's uh, there's loads of budding entrepreneurs in the plant-based food market. And, it doesn't uh, taste and the same though. And there's also increasing evidence that a strict vegan diet, for example, I like how he's just like wearing these giant ass glasses to make sure that no one can ever recognize him in their life. Can have bad impact on you. No, I, I don't think that's true. There's... Well, the scientists are saying it. Well, you know, children life. may end up being more stupid, they say. Well, you... well, I think they're right, not gonna lie. Well, you know, I think children may end up being more stupid. They yeah, say. I mean, well, look at him. Have only a vegan diet, for example. Uh, peas, I don't know much about, you know, all, all I know that plant based foods is gonna tell me right. to give up meat. You've got to know about the science, otherwise, why should <laughs> I listen to you? Well, peas, a plant based food. Are you calling is... peas peas? Well, yeah. Peace. Why? I thought it'd be quite nice. Can I right. just ask? A... He's a broccoli and he's peace. Nice. Straightforward question. And without any comedy, are you a plant? As in, because your argument dressed up as... Now we're asking the questions. As a broccoli just strikes me as so absurd. <laughs> well... That you're wearing a costume, but you're trying to get a serious point across about veganism. It is a is serious there not, point, Are you yeah. actually not part of Animal Rebellion and Extinction Rebellion, Bro. Too, but somebody who's trying to send up the whole movement? Because I'm no, not sure not you're going to... Bro, this reminds me of that... Um, what, 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 what was this guy? There was like a conservative guy with a sign saying... Uh, Children mol molested by uh, gay people in the last like 20 years here. Zero. Children molested by priests in the last 20 years. Six and then just like, and then just like remove the six and, and just wrote eight. And I'm confused which side are they on? So not, win not at all. Anybody over dressed as a broccoli trying to make a serious political point so, about how to stop climate change by changing yeah, your diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying, and we are in extremely hot water about this. You know, it's going to go pear shaped. Um, but I think. What, is what the fuck? This is what are, what's with this food reference, Mr. Broccoli? A ration during. It's a joke, isn't it? No, it's not a joke. It's not a joke, but I do think that uh, given the gravity of the situation, some levity and humour is important. You know, we need to be able to deal with this. Do you practice what you preach? I mean, when it comes to the environment at oh, home, just... do you have televisions and electrical devices, computers, laptops? No, I'm, I'm just a broccoli. He's just a broccoli. I don't, I don't have, I think right. Piers, I don't have electric. You said yourself recently that there needs to be less fury, more, more humour, more common sense in this that. debate. And, and it's got him on TV to today, so I, 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 I do agree. I do think all these debates would benefit from a little bit more levity and humour. You think exactly. these debates benefit from people dressing up as a broccoli? I think it got him noticed, and it's got him on television. Cool. Like I, f I think that would make like the protest a lot more wholesome. Like, why not like every vegan pro protestant just like dressed as a different uh, vegetable or fruit? I think it would make them a lot more wholesome, and definitely a lot more safer. Cause like, how dangerous can someone dressed as a broccoli be? And then again, I don't know. Maybe he's holding like like uh, two desert eagles um, uh, in his back in his back pocket. But I'm not sure you're getting a. What the fuck? Hey, why is my my country being called out here? England and Bulgaria charged by UEFA following match. What what what, what did we do again? Well, that's, that's where I have a slight issue. If you don't know the science about this, how convincing can you be to people? I'm just a, a humble broccoli, but I want people to like they can come and take part in this protest. Yeah, but you have to explain to them why. Yeah, to be fair, that the, the, him being dressed as a broccoli really makes it look like a lot more welcoming. 
then like the guys that are spilling fake blood on like you know Why everything you believe a plant-based diet is actually going to be effective if you don't know the science how can you do that it's quite easy well, hang to on sorry well, we're talking to mr broccoli, mr. broccoli. well I, I am just a broccoli I right, but Mr. Broccoli, you have a point to make, don't you? Other than just yes, dressing yes. up in a costume. Yes, yes. My point is that, the, environmentally speaking, we're in incredibly hot water, and we we do need to transition. You don't to know a why, do you? System. You don't know the science. You don't know why we think we're in hot water. Well, I'm just a broccoli at the end of the day. I, I get that. Yeah, but I love how this argument, when he's like, you know, asks something, is and he like can't answer it or doesn't want to answer it. He's like, I'm just a broccoli. I can't talk. What are you doing there? Sorry, I, I've just got a call. The fuck is this guy? That's oh, the wrong way up. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. You're not really helping the argument, no, are no. you? I mean, the trouble is, Mr. Broccoli, when you come on, that was my Mr. Friend, Broccoli, sorry. had you made sorry. a very coherent, powerful, science-based argument, which for your you could cause, have even done if you, you talked about the amount of methane, that? for had instance. Had you done that, that you'd have had real release. impact. You've had a lot well, of animal attention. Animal agriculture does produce. No, but you'd have had a lot of attention pretty. then for through the way you've dressed up for your cause. But to come on here and just be an idiot makes us think you're just an idiot. Oh, I do think you need to <clears throat> understand my client is just a broccoli. It's easy to... What the fuck? What is this argument, bro? What? Bro, so if... He... Okay, let's say he killed someone. Can he just say, I'm a broccoli and be like, broccoli can't kill people? I'm a broccoli. Really easy to cherry pick the science. The science what the fuck? is good. It's a good. All right. Yeah. yeah. Science says a bad. He's not a broccoli, is he? He's a human being and dressed think, as a broccoli. And when you keep you using the these fuck? little vegetable uh, sort of comedy comments, I just think you're not doing your cause any no, help at all. I think um, it's easy to talk about individual change. But what we're talking well, we about don't, is... You don't seem <coughs> to find it easy to talk about any change, well, well, actually. And I think for those people who about... are genuinely. Any people are genuinely concerned about climate change. Yes, they and are. And I think mm, you are. have give an me one, extraordinary give me one opportunity fact. right one now one because of your profile. Give me one scientific fact why I should give up eating meat. Plant-based uh, food system is great for the environment. Yeah, right. because That's just because a little, little. Is it great for the environment? I mean, like, it's it's going to be a lot more expensive and harder to sustain it, to be honest, for all I know. A waffle, isn't it, broccoli? Well, that's the problem. What we need is systemic change to move towards a plant-based food system. Okay. This is yeah. about the government, not about us individual normal working well, class people. Well, you've sort of made it about who, you who individually. Can't afford you can't well, afford. You've not, spent, you not basically spent two weeks paralysing the city of London, and when we give give you the chance to come on national television and present your case, you sit there dressed like a broccoli, saying. Yeah, you should eat plants. But that's I mean, because sorry, this is absurd. Yeah. The fact that we have to come and justify what scientists are actually... Mainstream science is telling us that's what's absurd, not what we're doing. Absolutely. Okay. It's right. absurd you don't think this is absurd? The... Not at all, not in the circumstances at the moment. No? No. no. And what is absurd is the government inaction on climate change exactly. that we have to take... But you don't know why. The... You're a broccoli, you can't know that. Do you? First place. Broccoli, that's a problem. You damn liar. You, you know you want action on... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just referring to him, to him no, just, just as broccoli. You don't understand why you want that. No. Because you're a broccoli. I am just a broccoli. Again. Exactly. Yeah. And All that's right. where we're going to leave it. Mr. Broccoli, thank you very much indeed. 16 hey, minutes past... Yeah. Yeah. We give him a and chance. And come to the veggie anyway. party on Saturday. Yeah, I won't be at your veggie party on Saturday. I'll be Here's Bentley your Hill welcome. eating a big steak. Yes. You've done more for the vegan <laughs> cause than big anyone this year. meaty T-bone. Probably a 36-ounce steak. Probably two of them, actually. I might have one of those tomahawks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll probably I'll send you a picture of me gnawing it. Jesus. And then when you say why are you doing that, I'll I'm go give because I'm a chance. tomahawk. I'm mom. a vegetarian. Jesus, I think Pierce like I think Pierce actually kind of got mad from all this. Bro, he looks kind of triggered. Ain't gonna lie to you. Half on your side, but you haven't managed to convince me. And I think if you can't convince me, and I'm, exactly. you know, I'm a potential you supporter, you can't convince the most virtue signalling woman on British television. <laughs> you've lost you've, your audience. You've lost.